In today's video, we're going to be talking about what a Langchango project is, what's involved in setting it up, and then show how Docker Compose could simplify and speed up that process in just a few steps. So by the end of this video, you'll see how easy it is to get things up and running with a Langchango project using Compose. So let's go ahead and take a look. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure that you have a couple of things installed. First, have git install, which you could install from here for your appropriate computer. Next, of course, you need to install Docker. I have the Docker desktop install, which I downloaded from over here. Also, you'll want to clone the repository composed for agents that we'll be working with, where you have a variety of type of frameworks. And you'll want to make note that if you are running some models locally, you'll need a laptop or workstation that has a GPU. And if not, you can always use Docker Offload. And in order to do that, you'll want to make sure that you sign up for Docker Offload access here in their beta program. Langchain Go is the Go version of Langchain. It lets you build apps with large language models like chatbots, RAG, and agents, all in pure Go. But to set it up manually, there's a lot of steps involved. First, you'd have to install Go and create a new project, add the Langchain Go package with Go modules, set up your API keys or connect to a local model, write your Go code to call the LLM, add chains or agents, then run it all locally, plus manage any extra tools or databases yourself. And all this is error prone, but there is an easier path with Docker Compose, where you could just clone your repo, go into the Langchain Go folder where your project is and run Docker Compose up. That one command spins up your app, the model runner, and supporting services all pre-wired. No manual installs, no dependency headaches, and no platform issues. In this video, we're going to demonstrate a project that has a zero config application using Langchain Go and MCP to answer a natural language question by performing real-time web search via DuckDuckGo, all orchestrated with Docker Compose. More details on this project could be found here. So right before I execute my command, you'll notice that I navigated into the Langchango directory, and then I can run Docker Compose up. Once I do that, Docker first builds the app and pulls any base images it needs, like Alpine and Go. Next, it compiles the Go code and packages it into a container. Once built, Docker starts up the containers, and then you'll see the app container and the MCP gateway. Finally, the system runs a test question and routes it through the model and MCP tools and outputs the answer. So in just a few steps, everything gets built, started, and connected automatically. If we scroll up, we'll see the question that we asked, which was, does Golang support the MCP? And towards the bottom, we have our answer. Yes, Golang supports the MCP through the MCP Go library. Let's take a look at our YAML file, which can be found under the Langchain Go folder. This file wires up our Langchain Go project. Under the services, we have the app, which runs on port 8080 and asks a sample question that we saw earlier in our demo on line 9 and connects to the Gemma model. Starting on line 16, we have the MCP gateway, which runs on port 8811, secures communication, and links to external tools like DuckDuckGo for search. And at the bottom on line 28, we have the model section, which defines Gemma as the language model. So in short, this all connects the app, the model, and the tools all in one place. Now let's take a look at the architecture overview of this project. At the very top, a user asks a question. The question goes into a Go app, which uses something called a chat client. The chat client then talks to two places. It can call a large language model through the Docker model runner, or it can return a final answer if it already has enough information. If the user needs more data, it uses an MCP client. The MCP client connects to a tool callback, which runs through the MCP gateway. The gateway then calls external tools. In this case, the DuckDuckGo search API. The results flows back up through the chain into the model and finally back to the chat client, which gives the user the final answer. So it's basically question in, tools and model process it, answer out. And that's just about it for running a Langchango project using Docker Compose. So let me know in the comments 
which framework from the Compose for Agents repo that you've used in the past or want to see a demo on next. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you got value out of it, for sure, check out this video here also. That's it for now, and I will see you in the next one.